Hey everyone, so I have another haul for you today. So I went to the Pets Emporium, Trebaron and Wilkinson's. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, I'm just going to start off with what I got from the Pets Emporium. So the Pets Emporium is like a local non-chain pet store. So the first thing I bought was just a packet of the veggie crunchers. So the hamsters and gerbils have never had these before and I thought it would be a nice little treat for them because they are quite hard which means it will help to keep their teeth down as well. So it says it's suitable for rabbits, guinea pigs and small animals. The only thing I don't like about buying from like little local pet stores is the fact that they don't actually have the composition or anything on the packets which is a little bit of a pain because I do tend to like to see what is in the treats and things but as a little treat I thought it won't hurt them so these were 99p and you do get quite a lot in a packet as well and then last of all from Pets Emporium I picked up a Bendy Bridge so usually I wouldn't pay prices in pet stores for Bendy Bridges but I desperately needed one for the new pet which we have so I thought I'd just go ahead and pick one up because they were a lot cheaper than what they are in pets at home so it's just the small fiddlesticks bridge and this was 199 you guys have probably seen these in my videos plenty of times before but basically you can bend them and make them into whatever shape you want so next moving on to what i got from wilkinson's the first thing that i picked up was just a wilco crinkle tunnel for hamsters and rats now i've had a few of these in the past and they went down really well with the pet so I thought I'd just go ahead and buy another one for the new pet but I don't actually know how much this was because the people in Wilkinson's were arguing at the time and they were trying to serve people and it was just it was really crazy so the woman didn't end up scanning this through but I think it was about £1.75 so next from Wilkinson's I picked up a coconut paradise for small animals so basically it's just like a little coconut hut so I'll just get it out and quickly show you guys what it looks like so this is basically what it looks like so it has three little holes in there so the pet can enter and exit it so I've got a couple of these already and I think they are brilliant for the pet so I thought I'd go ahead and pick up another one for the new pet so this was only £2.50 which I thought was a really good price so next from Wilco again it's for the new pet so I just picked up a rolly wheel for hamsters and mice so it's the 14 centimeter diameter one which is I'm not really sure how big that is in inches but anyways I thought I'd go ahead and pick one of these up so this is basically like a Savic wheel it's got the exact same attachment as a Savic wheel they have basically just branded it as a Wilco brand even though it does actually say Savic on the inside of the wheel but I thought I'd just go ahead and pick one of those up for the new pet and that was again £2.50 so next from Wilkinson's I just picked up a packet of the Wilco um, wild tasty dried mealworms so for those of you who don't know I mix these in with my hamsters and gerbils food because it's a great um, source of protein so I thought I'd go ahead and pick some more up because of I'm going to need to make some more food mixes up soon so these are currently on offer I think these are usually about £3 but they are on offer for £1.75 at the minute so the next thing from Wilkinson's I got was a bag of the WAG pet food so this is for hamsters, gerbils and mice now usually I don't buy pet food which is sold for more than one animal I'd rather have pet food which is sold for hamsters and then one which is sold for gerbils and then one which is sold for mice but this um, new pet which I've got, basically there is no pet food out there for it whatsoever. This is literally the only pet food which I can get hold of for him. Um, so until I make an order online when I get paid, this is the food which I'm currently going to feed him on. Now it is a pretty good food for um, him, but I would prefer if he had a different brand of food because I don't like using WAG. I had WAG when I was a kid for my hamsters and... Um, I didn't really like it too much it was mainly full of junk and things but it's only going to be for like a week or so whilst he's on this so it's not a really bad brand of food but it's not a really good brand of food either so yeah um so basically I just picked that up and it is a one kilogram bag and it was two pounds now this is more expensive than Harry Hamster which I'm really surprised at because WAG isn't the best and Supreme is a lot better quality, but it's still more expensive than Supreme, which is a little bit weird. But yeah, anyway, I just picked up a bag of that. So the last thing I picked up from Wilkinson's is a packet of their paper pet bedding. Now, I don't actually like this as much as I like the other one which they used to sell. But unfortunately, this is kind of like the only option we have for bedding. So 
I have to buy it. But the gerbil seem to really, really like this stuff, whereas the hamsters prefer the J cloth kind of bedding. This is just kind of like shredded strips of paper, which I'm not too keen on, but it helps the gerbils to keep their burrows and things together, so I guess that is a positive. So this is just the 70 gram bag, and this was 99p, I think it was. Also, in the beginning of this video, I forgot to mention that um, I actually went to the range as well and just picked up a couple of things. So the first thing I picked up from the range is just another boredom breaker chew tube. So you guys have probably seen these a thousand times in my videos because they are just super cheap and the pets absolutely love them. So this is just the green and orange one and this is a small size and this was 49p. And then last of all from the range I just picked up another one of these branch perches. So if you watch my gerbil haul you've probably seen a couple of these in that. So I thought these would be really good for the new pet because the new pet loves to climb and loves to explore and things. So I thought this would be perfect because it can climb on it and things like that. So that is just basically what it looks like. So it attaches to the bars of the cage with one of these little metal hook things. So this is the small size and this was only... £1.50 I think which was a really good price. So the last place I went to was Trebaran Garden Centre so it's basically a local garden centre but they also sell small animal supplies so they actually sell chickens as well and they are super cute and I really really want some but my parents are like no you're not having chickens which is a real shame but anyways the first thing I picked up from there was just two of the mini classic deluxe water bottles for the new pet and for Bear because Bear's currently got a big bottle and I don't like the hamsters having a big bottle I'd rather have them have a small bottle so I just picked up two of these and they were 99p each so the next thing I picked up from Tabaran is just one of these um, Pipkins Natural Nora and this is the small size one so I bought the gerbils the large one and I really like these because they are all natural compared to the pets at home, Nobulinoras, where they've got um, dyes on them. And basically the dye kind of tends to run on the pets at home products. So I much prefer to get them the natural ones. These are a little bit smaller than Nobulinoras, but they're still a really great chew toy. And they attach to the bars the exact same way. So I thought I'd just go ahead and buy the new pet one of these. So this was only 99p, which I thought was a reasonable price for what it is. So the next thing I picked up is just the Fruit Garland, um, so this is by the brand Pet Face. So I've actually got one of these for Bear already and I thought I'd go ahead and buy one for the new pet. So he can basically climb on it or chew it or do whatever he wants really. So this is suitable for rabbits, dwarf hamsters, hamsters, mice and gerbils. So it's basically just like little wood blocks and it's attached with this pet safe um, rope so I thought this was really cute and I thought that it would go really well in his cage so this was £4 which I thought was a good price because I've never seen these anywhere before so I thought I'd just go ahead and pick up one for him. So the next thing I picked up again is for the new pet so I'm actually not going to show you guys the new pet until another video but I'll probably post it after this one but yeah anyways I just picked up a Woody's Coconut Munch Mobile so I have something similar for Humbug but this one's a lot more nicer I think it kind of looks more natural compared to Humbug's which has got like quite a lot of colour and things on it so I thought this would be perfect for the new pet so basically it's just um got like these kind of I think it's coconut so it's got like these shells and then it has a ball in the middle and then it's got this stuff I don't actually know what this is called but the pets really like to chew this material anyway so I thought I'd go ahead and pick him up one of these because I can hide treats in this little shell bit and then you can also climb up it as well and then it attaches to the cage with this wooden hook so the difference between this one and the one that Humbug's got is that this one is actually all connected with like a piece of wire which runs through it so this will actually last a lot longer than the one Humbug's got so this was super cheap and it was only four pounds so the last thing I picked up from Chabaran is actually for all of the pets and it is a treat. Now I've seen these everywhere and I've never really thought about picking them up before until now. So it is just the Pipkins Special Mini Popcorn Treats. So basically it's just like popcorn. I don't know what these are called but it's basically just like popcorn cob things that you put in the microwave and then pop it and then obviously it turns to pet safe popcorn so the pets usually get just plain popcorn but I've not been able to get any 
plain popcorn recently basically they're only selling like buttered or salted or sweet popcorn whereas I just want plain popcorn on its own but they don't sell it anymore so I thought it would be a lot easier for me to buy the pets popcorn this way because that way I could just put one of these in the microwave at a time and pop it and just give all the pets a little bit of popcorn and then once one of these is popped I can just put the rest of the popcorn pieces in a little tub and then just feed it them as I want to and then hopefully these will last quite a long time as well because there is a lot of little popcorn bits on them so I'm not actually too sure what these things are called what you pop but anyways I thought this would be a really nice treat for them and this was 2 dollars and I basically searched through every single packet just to get the one with the most in because of you might as well because it's just it's just one of them things that I do where I'd rather get what I pay for rather than buying a packet with like only three of them in so yeah that is just what I got from Chabaran so that is just a quick overview of everything which I got for the pets sorry if you can hear music my neighbours have just decided to play their music really really loud which is a pain in the butt but yeah anyways I really hope you like this haul and I will post a video of the new pet after this one so you guys can see him because of I've had quite a few people on Facebook say that they want to see a video of him. So if you have me on Facebook, you would already know what pet he is. But th for those of you who don't have me on Facebook, you'll just have to wait and find out. So yeah, as always, thank you so much for the support. And please don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. Bye.